flanked by supporters, Stephen Harper's message to Saskatchewan voters focused on retirement security. There were no new promises from the Conservative leader, but he reinforced his party's commitment to the middle class, touting changes to the tax-free savings account. The average Canadian family has, due to our policies, more than six and a half thousand additional dollars in their pockets every single year. Harper fielded questions about changes to the government's equalization program, which provides billions annually to poor provinces. It's a topic recently addressed by Premier Brad Wall. I just think in a federal election that's going to go on for some time might be the right time to at least discuss a program, a federal program, worth $17 billion a year. But it appears Harper disagrees. He says the formula is complicated and that Saskatchewan needs to focus on natural resource development, a priority for Tory candidates. And I don't think Saskatchewan wants to go back to the decades of no growth NDP and they certainly do not want to see it on the national level. But Justin Trudeau, also visiting Saskatchewan this week, says residents have been let down by their 13 Conservative MPs in Ottawa. This is a tough economy for the middle class and for those working hard to join it. And it shows no signs of getting better. Ultimately, it will be up to voters to decide based on the issues most important to them. I guess my biggest election issue would be uh, the transportation of our, uh, of our, of our uh, commodities here from uh, Saskatchewan. For ourselves, we homeschool. It would be really nice to just continue to support homeschoolers. After meeting with Tory supporters here, Harper had a meet and greet with Enbridge employees before taking his campaign back on the road to Winnipeg. Terry Fikowski, Global News.